how to paint even when you're lost that's right i'm going to show the art process of this and you're gonna enjoy it a lot hope so leave a like cringe moment okay the first thing that i start doing is the sketch base sketch it doesn't need to look good it looks crazy it looks with anatomy wrong with perspective wrong and it's fine you don't gotta get everything perfect who are you to think you gotta have everything perfect at first no 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 get reference for your character for the pose for the ambient light for everything that you need and after that i start doing the sketch line art it's extremely important to have a sketch line art if my process is to go all out and do something refined, it, thinking of everything, everything, every single detail. And in this process, I take all of the time that is necessary to get the details right. Because if you make anything that it's too wrong right now, this is going to cost you in the future. Remember when you're drawing, when it's a sketch or a line art, it's much easier to change than when you already have all the painting, all the shadows, all the render, all the light, all the effects, all the aberration, chromatic aberration, all the... Say, I don't know what that you are using, but it's much easier to fix in the beginning than after. So I'll be always recommending new champs. If you have an anatomy problem, if you have a perspective problem, fix right now. I know brain work is hard. We don't want brain work because we monkey brain go, what? We leave the brain work. We do it now. So late funsies painting all the happy moments we want that's my process and after doing all of the selection the line art on the main character just stay sketch the rest the rest is the rest just main character needs attention I start adding basic on gray level color stones on the character to separate everything separate this four color to this four color and this pants and everything and I start adding color everything little by little and there is a moment you see already in the beginning that I will be using so early curves you probably have seen in my last video about these two colored curves. I use it to already get the ambient light. For me, this artwork was a really hardcore one to get the ambient light. That's why you must always have the colors you want. Because I was like, no, I want to adventure. I want to try to create something totally new. Something that I have never ever expected. So I'm going to use my reference to only have black and white ambient light. And I'm gonna turn that into crazy colors. Anything that my mind could could think at that moment anything after using curves to try to find my way back home into the land of colors i started i to feel more confident like mm, i'm liking where this is going i'm liking it hm, heck yeah heck yeah so i start to add basic shadows basic shadows smoke fog background house in the background and then i went again mm -hmm, i don't like how it's looking i want to show this to you champs to know that in your artwork there's going to be many moments you're going to feel like mm, i don't know what but there's something that i need to change there's something that i could change and i'm here to show hey you're gonna be trying many times inside of your artwork to find what is wrong and what is working what is not working and what is good to go and this is part of the process many of you may get frustrated on the first second or third trial but i was here doing curves trying to get the ambient light for at least six times on the whole drawing it was at least six times and for me this is a normal amount of trials i could even try 10 times if necessary 20 times if necessary when we understand that it's all part of the process everything turns out much smoother and after i finally get the ambient light that i'm feeling good after after adding the basic shadow, the basic components of the background, the basic components of the foreground, I start adding details. I start adding, let's say, the first level of rendering. I am still going to do a second level of rendering, but the first one is really important. That's where you're laying all of that good old base. You're picking all of that the ground and just putting it there and going like ha ha i'm putting the ground here so i can plant many beautiful flowers that's what you're doing ground is important to plant flowers what it has to do with art everything nothing everything okay everything so i start rendering only using only using my amazing brush a standard brush from photoshop it's not a specific brush what you thought i was doing it's the standard brush i'm not using smudge tool right now i prefer to leave smudge to the 
final area to the final boss because it's going to be much easier for myself to see oh this is the final render final render smudge too first render brush but i could also do the final render with brush the same way i prefer smudge too maybe just because i'm addicted to that and that happens so why doing the rendering doing the basic formats of the fur the muscles i'm all the time all the time questioning myself is this muscle right should the light really be hitting here what if we try a different angle what if we try again a different angle and a different angle until i really get satisfied with that i'm trying all the time temps all all of the time so many different aspects until i get happy with the final result i'm trying so many times my basic logic is i have a client that person's trusting their character to me i gotta put my heart on this i gotta do my very best for them and i'm gonna keep on trying 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 until i get happy with the way it looks you don't need to be euphoric happy just happy calm down calm down just happy and while i'm doing the abs the chest biceps all of those areas muscles specific Specific. I'm not going by my head like, oh, I know how it works. I I'm searching references and I'm picking references from Google for all of the muscles, for how they are bending. I searched reference from Tyrone Fiddler, the furry bodybuilder artist that loves to draw bodybuilder furries. And also from real images of bodybuilders to be sure that, hey, am I getting this right? Am I getting this right? And even photos from anatomy books to be sure like, hey, is this how this muscle works? Okay. Is, should Can I do this vein here? Okay. All of those things i'm always checking 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 to be sure like hey does that make sense i don't know if that makes sense. i'm gonna make that make sense oh uh, each single area i see that as a puzzle i love giving that example because if that's a puzzle i'm able to just go and think oh first let's start by this single piece and then we go into another piece and another and another one and another one one by one i don't think right now when i'm rendering of the whole piece no we already stopped doing this we are going to think of the whole piece when we are trying to get ambient light we are trying to get our composition even better but when we are rendering when we are adding details no this time you forget the outside world you forget everything else and you go out and bah, 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 bah. Okay, when I'm rendering the metal and sword and all of those things, I like a lot to use the lasso to just select and make everything smooth. Add details on only that area. I like a lot when I'm drawing objects to already separate them. Like, hey, I'm only choosing you, not not the rest, only you. You're the special one for me. You don't understand, I love you. I don't even know what you are. Love you, I'm gonna draw you. That's pretty much it. And about doing fog. People have trouble doing fog or foam. Um, it's fog, the name gaps. Fog, just flying and going like, ooh, sinister ambient. It's pretty much a new layer where you just go all out on having a big brush, low opacity, soft brush, and you just pretty much go and gentle press it in the way that your fog would be going that certain direction and if you think oh that's still too strong remember to use blur effect there's blur effect it helps a lot i recommend that like a lot and i love adding so many specific effects at the end i love adding a layer of screen to make everything glow especially around the character hair and shoulder i'm adding screen and not only that on the chest fur and the face i'm adding color dodge to be sure that i get a strong light different from screen it's going to be a strong more into colorful colorful light i also apply a layer of screen the background so many layers i applied i did soft light my biggest trouble was trying to get hey where's going to be warm where is going to be cold so i decided background's going to be warm and frontal is going to be cold and then i inverted that you can you can always try different things and use lasso tool to do fog it can help you a lot if you're struggling to just do the brush movement use lasso tool to do like cloud cloud silhouette and then you use blur and tada that's amazing i love it and you can just go in and raise the corners or specific points with a soft brush you raise it so it can look more convincing and remember to do only one side that is going to receive light a little bit stronger brighter it, it always worked for me fog was hard now it's easy we can do fog we are good with fog fog is one with us you are one with fog okay so when i start rendering i go pretty much on all of the body and search for places that i'm looking hey is this a sketch line get out hey is this a sketch line get out all of the sketch lines that i could find yeah, you get out. All of them. Get out, get out, get out, get out. And for finals, I like to add chromatic aberration. You can search up about this. I pretty much use wrap to just stretch my canvas on the new layer and make that 3D effect of blue lines and red lines all around it. I like to add grain through camera raw 
and choose colors even more through camera camera <laughs> and after using so many layers of curves doing so much blur and so much details and everything i'm happy with the results and it's finished remember it's a journey champ if i can encourage you on anything today is that it's a journey and it's fine to not like your artwork maybe half of the part 99 percent of of the part that you are working it's fine it's part of the process and you gotta just enjoy the journey have fun with it have fun champ you're amazing and i'll see you in the next one bye bye check out our shop and check out our patreon learn art with us link in the description Wow.